All right, here's a handy little trick if you're working with galleries, especially if you have photography or artwork. Um, one thing that you'll notice is the background on the light box when it pops up. Uh, usually it's a dark gray or, or a translucent black, and that might not always be best uh, for displaying your artwork. Or photography so really easy way to adjust the back of that you'll click the hamburger menu uh, go to site settings come down here to light box and this is a global light box default option so you can change the background color uh, let's go ahead and just change that we're going to change it to a uh, to a white and right now it's opaque so we will want to adjust the opacity and translucency and you can do the dry uh, slider bar if you have the uh, piece of artwork up um, in the uh, light box mode, you can see it live real time. And that is a very simple way to adjust the background of your light box globally. One more setting to definitely make sure that you have set correctly is the image light box here at the top. You want to make sure that it is checked to yes. This will enable you to have custom light box settings for individual uh, widgets and sections or use the global. Uh, the light box settings will control images, galleries, car carousels, and videos. To do so, on the page, if you have a, an image like this one, make sure you click on it and make sure, uh, by default, it is linked to none. Make sure it is linked to the media file. This will open up your light box options in the editor. Um, you can click default, which will pull in, default or yes pulls into global settings. No will give you uh, individual uh, light box control for that specific image gallery or carousel. Thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button right now. Stay tuned and check out the channel for other interesting and informative videos.